Today we're taking a look at Deer Mob iPhone Manager. This thing is capable of doing everything this piece of software is not iTunes is finally being discontinued by Apple and for good reason. It's frustrating. It works half the time. A tenth of the time it corrupts your files. A tenth of the time it's not even able to sync your files. One of the things I always hated about iTunes is that it doesn't let you sync with multiple devices. You see, if you have multiple iPhones or multiple devices and you want to be able to sync everything between all those devices, without using iCloud, it simply isn't possible. It's the most frustrating thing ever. Apple will only replace things. Well, Apple finally decided they're going to get rid of it. So so you may need something to replace it. And here is a look at DearMob iPhone Manager. This thing can transfer every type of file, convert them, transfer some ringtones, and do some things iTunes was never even capable of doing in the first place. For example, we're going to start off with photo transfer. So these are me being able to quickly view every single photo on my device in a very organized fashion. You see, when you just open this up in the Windows Viewer, it's really frustrating. You're not able to see every single thing you need to see. However, here we can group by month. We can take a look at all our live photos, all our selfies, even our recently deleted. Everything is pulled up here and we can even add new folders and albums if we want to do so. For example, right here I have some very high resolution panoramas that I want on my device. I'm simply going to hit all three of them. Right now I'm going to hit export. And just like that, I have all of these panoramas in full resolution directly on my computer. What if I told you there's security built into this as well, something that's also not available in good old iTunes. Let me show you, there's no encryption. No matter where you go, there is simply no encryption. But what if you wanted to export some top secret photos that are company info or something of those sorts? Let's say these panoramas right here, okay? So I'm gonna go and select these three and now I'm gonna hit export with encryption. Anyone who doesn't have that password will never be able to access your top secret photos. Let's take a look at videos and movies. So as you can see right here, I have 419 individual videos on here, okay? And I only want to transfer some of these, but once again, iTunes gets in our way. iTunes doesn't like you doing that. But let's say I want to simply export just these right here, okay? This is actually a video I'm working on right now. Another review, check all of these. And now I'm simply gonna go ahead and I'm simply going to hit export and it's gonna go and export all of those videos. And it only took a few seconds. If we were to go and do that on iTunes, it would take forever. And there you go, here are my full on videos. I'm gonna go ahead and play one of them right on here. Super, super simple. Now, what if you want to import an entire movie? Well, movies are a bit more complicated. You see, let's jump into my desktop, and here I have one of the Harry Potter films, right? I'm simply gonna toss this into here, and now you get two interesting options, okay? You're able to reduce its size, right? And not only are you able to reduce its size, but let's say it was in .mkv. MKV is not playable by iPhones. Well, not to worry, this thing will actually transfer this 1.71 gigabytes, it will reduce its size, and it will convert it into a file that is actually Actually playable by your iPhone. One of my favorite things inside of here is being able to take them and create them into a ringtone. And what would we have to do back in the day if we wanted to get in a ringtone from iTunes? Well, first of all, there's no ringtone manager in here. Second of all, if you want to, you need to purchase, that's right, purchase a ringtone from Apple in order to even do that. And so let's say I really love this song and I really like this little portion right here, okay? Now you can simply hit the word sync and it's gonna convert that into a ringtone and I can now use that as a text tone or a ringtone. Now what if we wanna use our iPhone as a flash drive? Well, we can add any file we want now. So let's say we have a completely random logo right here. I can simply take that and I can add that into my little flash drive of an iPhone. Let's say I have a 256 gigabyte one and half that storage isn't being used. Well, now we can finally go ahead and use it. That's a quick little functionality. What if you want to view the files that are already on your iPhone? Well, not to worry in terms of that as well. As you can see, I have this inside of my files application, and here are all the different things that I can go ahead and mess with. That's right, this is the actual files app. This is like Visco right here. I have a variety of things in here, an invoice, I have uh, libraries, I have a bunch of things that I might want to go and delete without having to, you know, hold them down on the iPhone and modify them or export things. And my favorite thing is you can go and add a file directly into here as well which is really really cool the last thing I want to show you guys is a very seamless way to backup and restore your device. So we're going to simply hit backup right here, okay? And you can encrypt your backup should you choose to do so, but I don't really need that since this is my personal computer. And you can view every single thing, all of your backups directly inside of here along with your file sizes. Now, I'm simply going to hit backup now, and we're also going to show you guys how long it takes to backup this particular device in iTunes. So I'm simply going to hit sync. 
okay? We're waiting for sync to start. It's saying backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. This is this, everyone knows how long this takes. This takes ages. Now, I wanna show you guys something a bit faster. I'm gonna hit backup on here. The time required for a backup is a wait time of around 15 to 25 minutes. Well, if this was a brand new backup, it would probably take an hour and a half. I'm simply gonna hit this and it's gonna back up my entire device. And not only is it gonna back it up, but I'll be able to look at specific files. So we'll see which one happens. All right, so my backup is complete. It is now 26.73 gigabytes. That didn't take anywhere near 15 to 30 minutes. What it actually took was around seven minutes, which is really, really amazing. Okay, and we're gonna go and take a look at our backup files. So here's our 26.73 gigabyte file, and you're able to go and jump ahead and restore that directly on the spot. I can also go ahead and restore that onto a brand new device, which makes life a lot easier. All in all, this is the ultimate iPhone manager everything from being able to tweak your ringtones to deal with files that i didn't even know you could deal with things like calendar your uh voice your books your podcasts you can deal with duplicating contacts and mess around with that use it as a flash drive and of course security is very important you can directly input photos and videos right here in the data encryption section and then you can go and decrypt it directly within this application hopefully you guys enjoyed this video for more information check out the rest of this site there's a direct comparison between itunes and dear mob iphone manager